My name's Adamant, Adam loves games. Yeah. Hey everybody, my name's Adam, and today I'm going to be playing a game uh, by another Adam. His name's Adam Butcher, and I just watched a really cool YouTube video he put out. Uh, we'll go on medium. About how this game took, oh, just just what it says right here. It took 13 years to make. Started when he was 14. Um, and kind of became like a labor of love over time, I guess. And uh, we're going to try it. And this is the first time I'm playing it. Uh... I just want to try playing a, a fun game. I used to, like, I'm sure everyone who was playing games around the time I was in the 90s and stuff remembers those big discs full of shareware and Commander Keen and the original Duke Nukem. And, uh, to vanquish the chaos. So, I just figured I'd have fun, play this game a little bit, and uh, stop when I get bored. Uh, but what really caught my eye in this game is he was talking about how each each uh, dungeon or whatever has different mechanics and different puzzles and things like that. Kind of paying attention to the story. Well, spoken words are spoken. <laughs> Definitely a story written by a 14 year old. It's great, so bye. Chaos back again. Okay, I'm pretty sure though. I don't know if it's skippable. Oh. I don't know if I skipped it or not, but. Oh, alright. Okay, it looks like it's A. It this game's got like, uh. It doesn't have joystick support, and I could have set up like an X pattern uh, for this. But I think it's probably proper to play a game like this with. Oh, he's off. I'm off with my sword. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, so these are little tutorial things. S or shift. Okay. Left to right. Let's see. Press up. Oh, so can I go in this door here? Oh, okay. It's not a different. It's just a different. Uh, press X or control, okay. Not not huge range on the sword down. Shield drops out of nowhere. So I'm not sure if this game was still uh, he, somewhere in the. Oh, okay, that wasn't. Press A to pick up objects. And, okay. <laughs> so this game definitely has like the click and play appeal to it. Uh, select which item. Stop holding any items. Okay, so that only that is in my offhand, I guess. I guess I just always have the sh the sword. Um, escape. Pause. Oh, there we go. Okay, so let's get right into the actual plan. Chapter one: The Bowels of Castle Sofa. All right. All right. We got these slimy things. Okay, I got a little bit of a life bar at the bottom. Oh, yeah. Okay, so being on top of them, I guess, doesn't hurt. It's... Okay. Okay, now, does it doesn't matter which door I go in? Let's, let's try this top. Oh, or do I have to... Okay, I bet... Instead of jumping, can I jump up here, and does this bring me to the other door? Oh, no, it brings me to a new place. Okay, I'll push it. And I mean, for this kind of, like, click-and-play game, like, the the animation sprites are actually pretty cool. Um, to the point that they wouldn't be totally out of place in, like, a indie game today. Okay. I do not have great range. But thankfully, it seems that's not taking away much of my health, so... I'm gonna use this right away. Okay, so I hit. Oh. Oh no. No, I don't want to enable sticky keys. I gotta be watch out with that. Maybe I won't use. Maybe I'll use Z to. Or was it C? What? What? A, what's the keyboard? Okay, so I'm using my hands. I 
guess I just gotta be liberal with the jump then. It's a bit dark in here. I better come back with some sort. Oh, all right. Gotcha. It's okay, so it's A to continue. Oh, and I can't. Uh oh. Oh, that was pretty forgiving. Okay, so a little bit of like a Metroid feel. <laughs> I am assuming he kept this in click and play the whole time, and I don't know if people saw it, if many other people played like click and play style games, but it appears that he has pretty much used this to the max, and there's no okay, there's no edge of the screen. Do a little fancy jumping. It is. I haven't played a platform game using the key. <laughs> the oh, oh no. Oh, we got a lever over here. Oh, sneak attack! Sneak attack jellies. I gotta say, this is, I mean, I know we're kind of, we're, we're definitely spoiled with uh, side-scrollers and indie kind of games now. Ooh, Hidden Door. Uh, I'm recording myself playing this game. <laughs> so, I... I think I just... I don't think I need that. Um, that paintbrush looks like it probably can do something, but I don't know if I have a way to get up there. And I definitely don't now. girlfriend just walked into the room and was looking at me like I'm a crazy person for talking at the computer while I play a video game. Oh, do I push these boxes have? Okay, so I'm back up here. Can I push that? Okay. Now I get it, although I totally just screwed myself out of that health potion. Okay, I'm at A to pick something up. Oh. Item slot one. The green paintbrush. Okay. A to continue. So, what happens with that? Oh! Oh, can I deal with these guys? No. Those purple things. Thankfully, this game is real forgiving with the health. Um, okay, I guess I go back now. What happens when I... Let me go through this real quick to get. What is it? Oh, I have to clear my hands. How do I do that again? Oh, the tilde key, right? Is that what it said? I thought that's how it told me to get rid of stuff in my hands. Space bar, Alt, Control. Oh well. You know what? I don't need life that bad. We'll save that for. Oh, I gotta go all the way around. And I've just wasted everyone's time. I need to get to whack those slime guys a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Can I paint them? Okay, still not apparent why I need this green paintbrush for. I mean, it can't help me in the dark room, can't, or oh, or can it like paint the floors or something? Alright, I know I've been here. Gotta kill this guy to open up the chain. Okay. I hope I'm not stuck already. This would be terrible if I did this and then got stuck in the first five minutes. Okay, and... Oh, there we go. I can paint the floors. 
Oh, that's cool. Oh. Thankfully, it's pretty forgiving when you fall. Hopefully, I'll figure out how to pick up a life potion next time or else I'll be... I guess that's a wall. I gotta tell you, this is real imaginative for... Oh, jeez. Hope. I wonder if the difficulty level just chooses how much damage stuff does and things like that, because I am real glad I picked medium. So let me see, can I jump up? Oh. Looks like there's a floor over here, and a oh, floor down there too, okay. And in the door, there we go, first puzzle completed. Oh, I gotta tell you, these keyboard controls do not <laughs> are not as natural as they once were. Well, oh. I bet I flick the switch and that brings those jellies to life. Oh, sticky keys again. I gotta figure out what the. Let's. Oh. So hold the oh. Oh, we got time. Okay, here we go. Time to bring the A game. Oh, this isn't happening. No, I don't think I can make it in that level of time. I think. Can I throw paint on these guys? Is paint just the answer to everything now? There we go. Paint solves all problems. Okay. Another puzzle solved. Huzzah! Okay, and then this... Is this a door? Oh! Chapter 2, Lair of the Beast. Um... Let me... Oh! Full life. Like that. Uh, about. I go to. I shouldn't be meet needing this anymore. The fact that I'm surprised to use it in the first place. All right, so that's gone. Good. Oh, wow, whole new thing going on. Oh, timing and okay. Now I gotta remember how to pick something up. Throw it at them. Okay. Okay, I can't go in there. Oh, I have a shield too. Okay, so I'm gonna use that to. Let's see what I can do as far as slaying this guy. Oh, brutal! <laughs> That's awesome! <laughs> I'm sure this rock isn't just here for. I guess I need to probably need to put it in here, huh? Okay, that's a. It's a rock dispenser. I get that now. Oh, hitbox a little touchy. I won't, I won't judge it too harshly, and I'm not even this judge game is anyway. I like playing them. All right. Oh, take that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Run. Oh, speed level. Speed level. Here we go. Uh oh. Okay, that doesn't hurt me. Ah. Oh, that's a fun little set piece right there. That was awesome. Uh-oh. Oh, what's coming here? I don't say. I... It's Gazool. Uh-oh. Bet this would make a little bit more sense if I read the story, but... Probably not. Okay, so let's see. Oh, what's that on the ground? Is that coming to get me? Oh, okay. That's where he's looking or aiming at. How do I hit back? How do I shield? Down, down shield. Where? Oh. 
I don't know if that just happened because of time or if I triggered it or what. Can I grab one of these? Oh. I can grab this one, I bet. Ha ha! I'm not sure if that's part of Guzul or one of Guzul's minions. But we got our we got ourselves a full on boss fight going on here. A little bit of waiting. Okay. Let's see if let's see if blocking that triggers it. Triggers those boulders to fall. I think so. I think that was significantly shorter than last time. Run away from the boulders. I'm so glad these little boulders don't do any damage. <laughs> This game has felt remarkably fair so far. For... Oh, just as I say that, I get hit by bubble. Are those bubbles doing damage? One of Gazool's bag of tricks. Okay, what do you got now? You got his little head guys, and now there's. Bubbles, I think those hurt me. I think that's what got me that time. Okay, another boulder. Ooh, just dodge that one. Nice. I mean, the I guess the best thing I can say about this game is this strikes me as a game that would be like one of my favorite games had I played it back in like 1995 gotten it on one of those shareware discs with a hundred different games trying doing the old switcheroo on Guzul oh oh Guzul's gonna kill me if I don't do something here I'm just gonna okay I can hit those with my sword so I got a little bit I'm greatly underusing my shield oh Guzul Guzul is Gazon Alright, next. The way that creature just vanished. I fear that there's a great and powerful evil at work here and that this is just the beginning. Let's hope so. To the king. Okay, return to Castle Sop. Well, with full life, I hope. Yes. Alright, that was a close one. I forgot how... I must have been much better at this when I was playing, because I don't, I remember Commander Keen and Duke Nukem requiring pretty good accuracy, but I could be wrong and I could have just been terrible because I was like 12. Alright. What has happened? Oh, I see. The castle's been taken over by these weird squid guys. Oh, no. Oh. Like, I did not have a shield like mine. Yeah. Now what? Do I have to talk to this guy? Do I have to... Oh, no. There, there is truly a great evil at work. Yeah, that's a cool effect. Uh, it's, I guess it's like it's like pictures and it's like paper tearing when I hit it with the shield or with the sword, the the pointy one. Um. Oh, that is cool. There are some cool little animations in this because I, 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 I was never really super into making games, but I do remember playing several of like the click and play games. And, um, oh. I get that, and I get the box, and then I can, okay, so there's two doors here, so, uh-oh, did I mess myself up, okay, a little touchy on the pushing. I guess I could have gone that door while I was up there, huh? I was just so happy that I got the health potion. Oh, look, the guy's still twitching. Oh. There we go. Uh, I'm just 
guys. All right. Yeah, not a huge challenge so far. I mean, I'm sure I could have turned it up to hard, and uh, but uh, when playing this kind of game, I don't think I'm in the market for much of a challenge anymore. Right, so let's see what. Okay. Not sure if these are a different kind of slimy things, or the slimy things are evolving, or what. Um. Okay, that'll open up that door. I am losing life a lot more now, so it is getting harder. What's this guy? It's like a little Harry Potter, whatever. Ooh, what, uh, what have we here? Crossbow. Break that bad boy out. Uh-oh. I just fired off a whole bunch of rounds and then realized it appears I have a limited amount of bolts, but I gotta use it on these. Hopefully when it goes dead, it just takes a second to reload. Whew. Oh. Nope, burn my crossbow. Slime's getting the best of me. That's where I came from. There's really nothing. I got the crossbow, but then I... Screwed around with the ammo. I guess I would not be the guy you would want on your team in the zombie apocalypse based on that. Crossbow. There goes Twitchy. Right. And run into this. Ladders are for sissies. Oh, good. Good. A jumping challenge. Just what I. Just what I was looking forward to. Oh, and I got all the way over here, and I need a key. I'm guessing that's where the other door goes to. Is somewhere where I can get a key. My general rule is if there's two doors and I need one thing to get into the other door, I will always pick the door with the I will always pick the way that leads to the locked door before I pick the way that leads to the key. Oh jeez. Oh, run. Run scared. Okay. Well, I can see why. That way was more enticing with the Oh, but it looks like it's going to be a little bit of a thing to get up there. Uh, ooh. Okay, maybe you break all the pots. Can I crossbow while on the... Oh, I can't go down the ladder like that. From long distance... Oh, can I not even get back up there? I don't... Okay. Well, let's see here. I feel like the crossbow is integral to get over there, but I can't... Was I just supposed to do something stupid? Lock door, like shoot it with a crossbow? I, there's no way I'm making that jump. Alright, back through this, and then... Uh-oh, what am I doing? Oh, I'm falling apart! So I'm going for the twofer. Oh! <laughs> Keyboard controls are not... Okay. Oh, do I have to maybe kill all those things and that unlocks the door? Did I go back in before I killed all that stuff? Maybe. Maybe. Let me just shoot the door with a crossbow here. To... I mean, I know that this is a... Yeah. Just checking all my options. This does kind of illustrate how much games now handhold you a little bit. Not that I necessarily mind if it's a fun game, but this does kind of have the Nintendo element of I'm not telling you a thing, 
thing. You're just gonna have to figure out the right thing to do. Which... What? Bleeding out the eyes and twitching. Huh, that's... Okay, here we go. Maybe if I... Oh. I don't even remember if I killed all these guys last time. I feel like I must have. That's jump. That's the introduction of a third button for crossbow has totally revealed how inept at this. Oh, here we go. I can get you this guy from a distance because otherwise he is going to... Jump, shoot, jump, shoot, jump, oh, jeez. So far, he's got the best of this exchange. Okay, maybe I did get it. I did get it. There's a little special door, so that might be like a boss door. I'm supposed to... Stuff to break? And it appears that I have reached an impasse. That was the secrety little door thing. And then I don't have a key, right? Uh, Alright, 14 year old Adam may have bested me in this clash of wits. Oh, I can probably... No, I can't. I can't go through that. Okay. Gotta get my sword ready. And surprise, sucker! for me here. I guess I'm going to try backtracking again. I know this mu this part must be fun to watch. The figuring stuff out. <laughs> this is why this is why Let's Plays didn't exist back in the like Nintendo days. Because you'd have to watch someone on the same screen for 25 minutes looking for the right key. Okay. Can I go? I can't. It's not moving and it's not resetting. I can get my crossbow bolts. Can I pick this up? How do I... Yeah, unfortunately, it's looking like I am getting to an unpassable place. Um, okay, well, I think I may have to look around and figure out how to do this. Here we go. I'm going to, I'm going to go on my laptop here. We're looking at the forums. Let's see if anyone's got, I am, oh. Looking, reading, reading, seeing if we've got... No. I've got nothing so far, so I'm going to pause this for now, post it up on YouTube, and uh, hopefully be back with part two of this uh, pretty fun game. So for right now, this is Adam signing off.